Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Weekly Meeting. Today we are 24 September 2024, around the virtual table you have Mark Waits, myself Damien Duportal, Jay Reddy, uh, Stefan Merrin, Kevin Martins. Let's get started with the announcements. So last week, the weekly release 2.477 was done successfully. We are using it since then, uh, so congratulations. Uh, this week, uh, we have the release 2.478 that has started on time. So we'll watch the, the rest of the release carefully. Uh, one uh, ago. Um, okay. Oh, I see. So, uh, Mark, I will mention for the next LTS, the baseline, but thanks for the note. Mm. Uh, on the announcements, I will be off for two weeks. So I need your help, folks, to handle or cancel the two upcoming team meetings. And also, I will need you, Stefan and Mark, to cover for me for the core upgrade that will happen next week on Wednesday, the 2nd October. Uh, so for the 2nd of October, is there any issue for you folks? No, I'll no. start the meeting. Um, I'm happy to start the meeting. And uh, Stefan, do you think, are you willing to take on the build the agenda? Yeah, I will, I will take over the, the meeting, no big deal. With, cool. with Jay's help. Uh, I'm off on 2nd no, oh, October. The 2nd is not for the voyage. meeting. Okay. Second, I, I managed to uh, make sure I'm 100% I'm ready, available. And no worries for publication of notes or recording. Just think about recording, and I will take care of everything once I'm, I'm back. Thank Don't you, waste your time on this. OK, although that's something I'm, I'm able to do. I have permissions to do it. So you, I assume you won't object if it happens. If if we get lucky and I do it, no problem. <laughs> yep, no problem, of course. Okay, great. <laughs> it's just I feel bad of uh, you having more work than usual, Mark. Uh, me too. So I like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, do you have other announcements? Nope. Okay, so let's have a look at the calendar. So next week for the 1st of October... To, uh, we will release a new weekly release 2.479 as every week uh, next week the Wednesday 2, 2nd of October as we mentioned we have the 2.462.3 LTS release so we need to do the core release as usual and then we will need to update all uh, controllers on the platform of course uh, so Chris is the release lead and the next LTS line, I don't remember when it is, but as per mock notes, that will be built on top of 2.477 that was released last week. Uh, Mark, I wonder, I think it was, it's planned for 30 of October, Correct. right? That's right. And it's 2.477.1. Cool. And Mark Waite is releasing. Be the first GDK 17 minimum release, right? Correct. Requires Java 17, uh, uses Spring Security 6, uses Jetty 12. Nice. That will be a huge release. Cool. Right. Anything else on the upcoming releases, folks? Question? No? Okay, um, um, for the upcoming three weeks, we still have a few credentials. So we already treated a bunch with Stefan to renew. Uh, 1st of October, we will have Cloudflare API tokens that are used for both Terraform project and for the update Jenkins IO mirrors that on the new system. So uh, that won't break the production, but that will be better if we can have this thing renewed. There is an issue for tracking this, and not only this, this one. Uh, the 6th October, the two Azure principle used by Let's Encrypt to use, to add and remove DNS record for the DNS challenge for the services Third CI and Trusted CI. Both are private controllers, 
hence the DNS challenge, let's encrypt. The two Azure principle used for uh, authentication against Azure API will expire. Yes, Mark? So those, the, the one for the let's encrypt DNS challenge, that will not actually expire our certificates. It's just what's used for the challenge when the certificates are renewed. Absolutely. It won't, okay. uh, it won't break the certificate. Certificate is renewed automatically. Got it. All right. So, so the, the, the strength is that they're decoupled. The weakness is we might not detect the expiration of that certificate until the wrong time. So exactly. or that, that credential. Thank you. Okay, got it. And and just a note for this one. Uh, so won't expire the certificate. We have voluntarily set the credential renewal, which is at the same rate as let's encrypt renewal, three months for both. Mm -hmm. uh, it has one month and a half uh, recovering. Okay, so because... they are intentionally offset from each other. Very good. Okay. Offset. What's the word? Thanks. Yeah. Um, the reason of this that looks, A, hey, why don't we renew something that needs to be renewed at the same frequency you, and that ends the offset? It's because um, long term, we have to replace this credential by an Azure identity. Oh, okay. So, so this is in fact not the long term solution. Thanks. Exactly. Okay. It, it, it's be careful. It's we can replace it with no security issue because these are private controllers not expected to be multi tenant and not building pull requests. Mm. So that's why we can afford using an identity. Because remember, identity solves the problem of not having a credential to renew, but it doesn't solve the problem of if you are attacked by multi on a multiple tenant system, you can quickly get the identity and assume. That's why we have credentials in the first place. So in that case, that worked perfectly. That wouldn't be a solution at all on CI Jenkins IO. It will it will decrease the security. Thank you. Thanks very much. Just, just a reminder, because I remember Tim and Hervé wanting to use identity management everywhere, and a recent attack would uh, could have used that kind of thing. So in FRACI and CI, Jenkins IO should not use either Azure identities. And the last set of credentials, all the Terraform backends Azure credentials will expire on the 7th and 8th of October. So that's also part of the Cloudflare renewal. We have a bunch of pull requests and I've created the same issue with the list of pull requests. So we can change all on the same time. That's not a problem. Did I forget the credential? Do you need more details, folks? That's great. Okay, so these two issues, 4300 and 4301, are right now in triage. So you will see them uh, later on notes as triage and they will be added to the new milestone. Okay. Next major yeah. event, unless you have something else about upcoming calendars. I, I just realized there was something that needs to be on the calendar that I forgot, mm -hmm. Damien, and it's it's mm -hmm. a it's an action item that, I'm, that I've not yet completed that I'm late on. Jenkins elections, are in progress. We've completed voter registration, or no, we've completed nominations. We have six candidates for the board. Yeah, thank you. Sorry that I'm going all the way back. No, to no, no, no problem, no problem. That's important. Um, so Jenkins elections are in progress. Uh, we've completed nominations. Um, and we will be, we are beginning voter registration. And Mark Waite owes a blog post about both. Six candidates for the board, for three positions on the board, and two candidates for release officer. The other, the other positions have only one candidate, so we won't run an election for those other positions. Cool. Thanks for the information. Yeah, so, uh, sorry that I'm late on that. No, I was, no, that I'm okay. a week, a one week late getting the blog post done. I will, I will get it done soon because we got to get it done. We've got about five weeks of voter registration period left. Okay. So everyone here is assumed the contributor. So no, you not, can not just assumed. If everyone here does not register to vote, they will have Mark wait chasing <laughs> them to make sure they register to vote. <laughs> 
So yes, yes, you're right. You're you are all contributors to Jenkins. Trust me. Cool. Thanks, Mark, for the reminder. Which leads us for uh, to the next major event, FOSDEM 2025 will happen in Brussels the first week of February. Uh, so I hope uh, I'm crossing finger for everyone being there. If you want to meet us, uh, we'll uh, more on this in the upcoming weeks or months. Okay. Uh, I, I, for sure, I will be there. I've blocked the agenda. And I've negotiated with my wife that I won't be at home that weekend. She wanted to take the opportunity to go in, in Belgium, but I might want to stay Monday and Tuesday and go in, in Ghent because there is also the configuration management com, mm. which for people who like or practice infrastructure, I strongly recommend. It's in the two days. It's one hour by train from Brussels. That's a nice city, a uh, lot of things to visit. And for, uh, of course, two days of uh, free conference centered on infrastructure. Anything else on upcoming calendars or announcement, folks? Nope, okay. Let's have a quick look at the cloud budgets. So before, uh, you, before you start yep. the review of cloud budgets, when Stefan is running the meeting, does he have access to these same things that he can extract the cloud budgets while you're out? Um, Azure CDF paid, yes. Azure sponsorship, no. Digital Ocean, he should be. Uh, we have to check for I this one. Yes. And AWS, yes. So okay. I think only Azure sponsorship thing will be annoying, but we don't expect a word thing for the upcoming two weeks. Okay. So. That so that should be okay. Great. All right. So, so, and, and that I was going to say we could drop that topic during the two weeks that you're gone if we need to. But since it sounds like he's got access, great. We'll take take partial. That's yeah, excellent. We will Thank do you. our best, and we'll see what we can and what we cannot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Good point. So, as your CDF, uh, we have most we have almost consume three K. The forecast is at three dot nine. So wow. Okay, what's the what's the difference there, Damien? What's changed? Uh, we moved the Redis database on the Azure sponsorship credits. As you can see, you have all three. Uh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. All we, right. We also merged them, so it's compressed the cost, but not only. Great. All right. Thank you. Uh, so of course we expect a bit more consumption on the Azure sponsorship credits. Uh, we are accelerating the consumption, so we will have to um, to work on it. Uh, I didn't had material time to write on the issue still, but I've transmitted already information to Stefan and Jay. Uh, more on that later. Yeah. Digital. So at, yep. Just sorry? doing the math at current mm -hmm. run rate, we have about five months of credits left, and we've got seven or eight months of of time left before the May 2025 expiration. Okay, thanks. Exactly, and we know that Microsoft, last last time they renewed the credits, they gave us three months notice. We had, when they told us it's renewed, it was three months before the expiry date. Okay. So um, I assume they will keep the same kind of uh, uh, planning. So if they are renew or not renew in, for the end of May, we should know in February. And the proposal to keep that account as much as possible. Great. Uh, the consumption on Digital Ocean is uh, steady. Uh, forecast is still the same. Uh, most of it is bandwidth, outbound bandwidth. bandwidth. Uh, and on AWS, so the same, we see a slight forecast decrease most probably caused by the 24 hours black uh, uh, brownouts because we clearly see a drop in the cost. Not all the cost was removed. Um, so maybe it won't solve the immediate problem, but it was at least 3K less. We can expect 3 to 4K less per month. So it's still huge and worth the effort. Great. 
And right now, the sponsored account, that's the second thing I need to check before going to early days. I need to be sure that both Stefan and Jay have access to that account. Which uh, is the transition to still the issue I need to finish writing. I got a draft on my machine, but I did not have time to do everything. Um, reminder, the goal of that issue will be to track work, to move CI Jenkins IO to the new AWS sponsored account. Uh, we have five components, so you should expect sixth issue to be open soon. Uh, and then Stefan and Jay accepted to work on it as far as I can understand. Maybe you you need a second chance to say yes or no, no problem. No, I, I said I will I will watch Jay doing everything. Okay, good idea. I'm all in. <laughs> uh, uh, prepare for everything to get broken then. Thank you, thank you, Jay, for volunteering. There's a, there's an imagery that we use about that kind of volunteerism. So it's great that you're volunteered. <laughs> Voluntold. Oh, volunteer, voluntold. But yeah. Um, we have three components. The major one that Stefan uh, is okay to to drive lead, that will be a good opportunity for Jay to get more trust and more permissions. Because in that area, we can give full admin permission to both of them. So for Stefan, I think it's already the case I need to double check, but for Jay, he never had access right now, uh, but they will be fully autonom autonomous. The only impact is that it will eat credits on this. We want these credits to be used. So yeah, perfect. That's a perfect area for both of them. And the two other are a bit more tricky. ACI, Stefan uh, is clear on the IDA and the roads. It's a matter of spending time on, on it. I propose that we do it on the fourth thing. Because if we need to move CI Jenkins IO on AWS, we can do it while keeping ACI. That's not mm -hmm. the best technical solution. But if the goal is to save credits on Azure, then we will do the last one is a bit more annoying because we don't know if it's technically feasible to reproduce what we have in Azure. And that's my task for this week, beside writing these issues, of course. Stefan, Jay, any question, things I forgot about this one? So the idea is that for the upcoming three milestones, that will be the major task for you to focus on. Uh, and then we will we will check if you see any blocker things that are not working. Of course, you stop. There are no expectation of result or deadline. Oh, you told us to ask uh, to ask Mark if we have any any blockers. I mean, you change your mind because he's here. I, mean, I plan to ask Mark. You are time. welcome to ask ask <laughs> all that you'd like. I'm not sure you'll get any answers, but you are certainly welcome to ask. <laughs> Fair. My timing is not the best, but yeah, with the early days. <laughs> I mean, no, we we will we we got multiple uh, area to work in, and that's a good opportunity to work together. So uh, it's okay, and there is nothing we can break because it's the brand new account. Right. Well, we will play around. That's good. Cool. So ball, uh, the, the ball is on me for now, uh, for the upcoming days at least, until Thursday. Uh, I'm delaying the other topic for later. Anything else on the cloud budgets? No? Okay. So let's have a look at the work that was finished during the, the milestone closing today. Uh, Kosuke is now having access to the VPN. Um, I don't know if we can close the other issue, but that's a good first milestone because I'm not sure how exactly the process work. I believe I should send a message to Andrew telling him, hey, Andrew, please look at the new stats or just uh, send messages to KK. But at least the, the most complicated part has been done. Thanks, KK, and thanks everyone uh, helping here. As we mentioned, uh, Stefan uh, drove the, ro the credential rotation. We had a few to rotate on different services. Everything is on the issue. Uh, I think se seven or eight credential rotated, so good job. Um, oh yeah, 
we have multiple issues because they are scoped by the controller uh, using the credential for doing things with the objects. So we had the credential on infra CI and other on trusted CI. More on infra CI. So yeah, that's a lot of credential. We had permission access uh, requests. Thanks team uh, for taking care of this one. Same permission access for a plugin developer, Tinfoil scan plugin. Looks like they had everything required. Uh, Stefan, a word on the stats, Jenkins IO 404 pages. Uh, that was a funny one. We we had to um, provide the custom uh, location um, parameters for the Nginx, um, and it was done. And with the help of of team, he focus uh, he, he make us think of reverting the process and having the not uh, the new one with with uh, <laughs> sorry the new pass for the new website to be handled, but the one from the old website to be handled like that, it's easier not to forget to update the rules. I'm not sure I'm, I'm clear enough here, but thanks team whatsoever. Um, so now you have a 404 redirection for the new website and it's working great and it's handling the new routing from the JavaScript. And for the old uh, website, the old uh, routes URL are handled, uh, uh, the normal way with real 404 error when you call a non-existing um, path. I'm not sure it's clear. I'm not sure it's understandable. Sorry. It was clear for me, but I know the subject, so I'm not the yeah. best uh, <laughs> unbiased person. Oh, but Mark understood. Thanks. So okay. Uh, that is your description is sufficient. I okay. think that's. If people need more than that, my interpretation was it's working better now than it did before. And exactly. That, <laughs> that's that's a manager level description, <laughs> which was what I needed. So that's great. It it reply it reply real for for error on a, a URL from the old website with four four. So it's good. That's what we wanted. And if if we have to speak about manager hat, I would say. Stefan uh, learned and used what he learned on Nginx while working on the yeah. update center and helping, and he was able to solve the problem thanks to these newly acquired skills. So, yep, good job. Thank you. Speaking about newly acquired skills, uh, thanks, Jay, for helping us keeping update CLI manifest up to date and better to use. Uh, that was, yes, that was a minor and not prior issue, but you had time. Thanks for fixing these elements. Well, there's more to come for update keyword. Yeah, the thing is, it's it keeps being updated, not because yeah. it's update CLI, but because that's how a platform works. So, yeah, it's the work is never done. So that's why we focus on the work that has been done. Now about the work in progress. So as we said, um, KK now has VPN access need to check with Andrew for the next data update. Right. And, and please, please tell Andrew how grateful we are for him, but how much we need it. We're missing. <laughs> we've had multiple people say, hey, my plugin installation stat statistics are not up to date. Hey, my usage statistics. So we've we much appreciate Andrew doing it. And yes, we need it. Cool, many thanks. Um, if no one object, I will keep uh, assign myself on this issue and I will keep communication with everyone. Uh, if we don't see any move until I'm off, is it okay for everyone to stop worrying about it for the next two weeks? Andrew will most probably comment the issue once it will be done. Yeah, I think I think that's the only choice we have. I, I really don't think that we're going to accelerate it other than by asking Andrew questions. Exactly. So cool. Uh, next issue. Thanks, Jay, for the work on CI Jenkins IO. Uh, CI Jenkins IO as your VM agents, Linux and containers, Linux, now have enough uh, entropy. Thanks, that help a lot the developer working with uh, cryptography, 
FIPS compliance and everything on the public Jenkins plugins. Uh, we have two last agents that are worth checking, but this one are permanent agent. We have the S390X agent on CI Jenkins IO, and we have the permanent agent on Trusted, which build the update center. Uh, we want all the agents to have the same behavior. So Jay, is that okay for you uh, to continue working on this? That will be a bit of puppet here. There is already an yeah. RGD profile. Uh, um, no, I'm just, I've never worked with PS390X. Uh, oh yes, so... it's a manual one and you need an access. Yeah. Yep, true that. Uh, no. Two agents, Jay and Damien will work on this. Um, I think I think that will be worth sharing the private key with Jay. What do you think, folks? Only for the 390X agents. So that Jay, because that, that will be only a set of manual operation to run on the machine. Mark and I already have <laughs> access. The key is encrypted on our SUPS repository. So that could be a great uh, get started with Jay using SUPS, a great exercise. And that will make you, Jay, autonomous on updating the packages manually on that machine. Yeah. yeah. Do, do your best yeah. to not destroy the machine. But other than that, okay. and even if you destroy it, we know how to ask for another, another machine to replace it if it were destroyed. We, we'd rather um, not, yeah. but, but if we have to. Yep. Thanks Thanks for you. Your <laughs> And by the way, great job, uh, James Nord. So you asked James about uh, how do we test this, which he gave you the recipe. And the good news yeah. is that it also works on Linux containers, which means the underlying Kubernetes node have everything required for enough entropy. The only missing thing were packages for the container. So good job. So we will continue to work on this one and we will sync most probably tomorrow on this one, Jay. Is that okay for you? Yeah, that's perfect. Um, Stefan, can you give us a word about the status about GeoIP database updates uh, cron system? It, it's been a, a, a lower priority issue because we, we worked more on the update center, but uh, mm -hmm. I did a pull request to generate a new um, Azure uh, service principle uh, for the file share yesterday. So I should be able to uh, uh, start over on the AZ copy and then go for the copy. The update uh, GOEP database is done. Container, just chart working locally for updating data locally. Yeah, for uh, now, all the work is local. Next step, finish local and to end testing with new credentials. And then finally, peers everywhere. Exactly. Because we'll need a pull request to have a custom Docker image and a custom Elm chart and then install the Elm charts. So that needs a first pull request to add the job on infra CI and eventually a fifth pull request somewhere. So yeah, we'll see. Not prior, but uh, right direction is just a matter of time. Is, is my analysis correct? It's no blocker perfect. anymore? You're saying cool. that way better than me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Um, I see that the Gradle plugin things is uh, on the road to be fixed. Yes. I haven't seen the last of the last. So they published a new version uh, with the fix. However, that new version also um, looks like they did their engineers. So they updated everything and they, update, they fixed the problem at the same time. So as Daniel pointed out, they upgraded the Jenkins core minimum requirement as part of the new thing, which means all the user using older Jenkins version will have to upgrade the Jenkins core before going to the new plugin. As such, if we stop distributing the whole the plugin, which had the license issue, a lot of user will be uh, will have a, a messy instance to say the least. So Daniel pointed that yeah, that will be worth also publishing a patch 
on the other one with only the fix. So they won't drop users, even though they will have a clean working state on the latest plugin version. Yeah, engineering lifecycle. No action required by us, except it's an yet another lesson to split task on atomic changes. Any question on Gradle or things to add? No. Okay. Um, we had GSOC requests. Uh, I'm late on this topic. No emergency. If I don't find the time, I will remove them for the upcoming milestone and I will drop a message in any case to say, hey, don't expect anything until middle October. Uh, so Stefan is working on the GeoIP rate limit things. So the, the parent issue, of course, is work in progress. Um, Infra CI build stock due to the GH API rate limit. Same, I will remove it from the upcoming milestone. I won't have time to spend uh, this week. So uh, moving to mid-October. No emergency, no more blocker, it's refinement here. So stats Jenkins IO, uh, 404 served. Uh, next step for closure, uh, changing branch name. And fix as the copy deployment errors. We have two tasks here. Changing branch name will be an easy one. It's just we used to have the default GitHub page, uh, GH page branch used by the former website. Now that uh, Hervé and then Stefan fixed all the issues on the stats, the new sites, mm. there is no reason for not for going back. However, having GH page branch doesn't make sense anymore. So in order, in order to have clarity in the future and avoid confusion, renaming that branch from GH page to data will be better that require updating two pipelines, the one that had data on the branch and the one that reads data from the branch. Anything else I could have forgotten on stats, Jenkins IO? Oh, um, no, we need something else. Changing branch name. So we have the AZ copy and we also have Use new site for plugin site generation instead of old dot stats dot Jenkins IO since all problem has been fixed. Finally, last work in progress item, the biggest and most important one, but I I, I use to have it as last, the new update center. HTTP is ready. Finally, um, the issue has a big task list of minor things, but the most important part is if you use HTTP to go on Azure Update Jenkins IO, you will be redirected while keeping HTTP protocol. We have duplicated Redis database and services. We use the same binary data for the, for the JSON file. Uh, so that had a lot of uh, let's say maintenance complexity, we tried our best. We might see uh, unsync. So right now I'm trying to watch everything and improve everything that is duplicated to have the same updates. Uh, Jay, I will need your help because I suffered from uh, um, missing update CLI manifests because I updated and created things, but I did not uh, thought about adding manifests. And that will help us a lot because uh, this morning I updated the unsecured, so HTTP only instance, and I forgot the HTTPS. And suddenly I realized that I was having errors because it wasn't on the last chart version. So you have details on different yeah, locations. Yeah, I already started working. Yep. Okay, cool. If you have any blocker, please ask us. But yeah, that will help. Um, and the next timeline proposal, uh, I propose that we do a force brownout to validate the HTTP uh, components and that we don't have any other major errors or visible errors at all. 
uh, propose to have that another 24 hour brownout starting this Thursday at noon Paris time. So that should be 10. Oh no, no, Stefan said 9 a.m. Paris. So 7 a.m. UTC, Thursday morning in Europe, night during the US for 24 hours until Friday morning uh, Europe. And the proposal is that after that, um, since Stefan and Jay will most probably focus on moving CI Jenkins IO on AWS, I propose that we plan for the final migration on the 15th of October. For sprout outs, um, we are 24, 25, 6 September. Final migration if no issues proposed for 15 October. Does it look good for everyone? It's, it's perfect. Cool. Um, minor uh, config fixes in progress. Other than that, I don't see anything else. We have covered every issues we saw during the third brownout, so everything should be good. Do you have any questions here, folks? Cool. Um, in the minor config fixes, there will be cleanups because we change things. We are we are improving our maintenance, so no feature change. Expect that update center to break until we start the brownout. I'm saying that most for Mark because I you are using it as much as we are on controllers. Mm -hmm. And yes, sometimes we focused on let's things and we go on breaking because it's easier for us for the configuration change, less steps. Which I, and I, you have my full support to continue doing exactly that. If Mark Waite is disrupted, Mark Waite knows how to fix his own DNS server to switch back. So don't Fair don't be at all shy. Fair point. Okay, so the new issue that were marked as triage when I generated the notes, we will do a last swipe uh, just after. We have a credential expiry, two issues. So I will add them on the next milestone unless someone objects. Last time, Stefan, you did the let's as your principle for let's encrypt thing uh, all alone. So if I cannot make it, you did it in the past. It's technically possible and just a matter of time. Mm. Uh, for the backend states, if it's okay, I think I used to do them all by myself. I'm not sure if I did it with you, Stefan. So I propose if you are feeling better, we could do them later this week. Yeah, in, in pair, yes, please. And if you don't feel better, I will update them. So none of you will have to worry about a credential expiration. I can do this even Friday. And we will do this next time. It's every three months, so no worries. Okay. Uh, we used to have a few other issues that I propose we can delay for after CI Jenkins IO. We have the GDK21. Uh, the next step would have been to switch agents and then controllers to using GDK21. My proposal is that there are no emergency, even though it's important, but it's less important than the update center and CI Jenkins IO migration. As such, let's delay to end of October. Is that okay for everyone? And that could be a great moment when we will have the new 2.477.1 LTS release that drops GDK 11. We will take eventually the opportunity to add more noise on the repositories by saying, hey, we dropped GDK 11 and we move to GDK 22 as uh, the spearheaded team we are. Uh, finally, the wall replace account app. Let's, let's keep it for the autumn even if we are almost on the autumn. Oh no, we are already in autumn. We are the 24th September. Oh no. Let's keep it for November. Yeah. For later is good. For later. Um, let's do one last swipe if we have new incoming issues. I don't think so. No, the two only triage here were the one. Okay, where the credentials. 
Okay, I don't have anything else. Do you have something else, folks? Nope, okay. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen first. I'm gonna stop the recording. So for people uh, uh, watching us on YouTube, see you next week. Bye-bye.